Welcome to the I Give an F1 podcast. I'm Allison. And I'm Lynette, and we're here to talk about the latest news in Formula One. So welcome hey, back, Lynette. everybody. <laughs> Hi, Allison. <laughs> Vegas is over. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, we're both like Vegas out in our black, like night race yeah. time. We should be there. <laughs> I know. We'd fit right in. <laughs> I know. Well, it was a eventful couple of days since the last time we spoke with you guys. And I think Vegas proved to be a bit more interesting than we originally had expected. So yeah, it was good. <laughs> I think it, it ended up being a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So last we left you guys, we had talked a little bit about FP2 and everything going into qualifying day. So here we are post-race and we figured we would just get right into it. So let's go ahead and do a quali recap, Lynette. Yeah, so quali. So um, we had a, a pretty clean quali um, in Q1, both, Merce uh, bo sorry, both McLarens were out. And I kind of expected that after like the practice that they had and just what they were showing um, like on Friday or Thursday. So it wasn't really a surprise, I think, to most people. I feel like they weren't having their best, yeah. um, you know, didn't have the best pace here and weren't doing all that great. So both of them were out. I think that was kind of like the big team, you know, to, to miss out on Q2 and Q3. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I think it was just because they don't do that well on the slow speed corners, um, which yeah. at this track had like a few of those. Um, and then Q2, we had another like two big names out. We had Checo and Lewis that were out. Yes. Very surprising, especially since they're in the running for the championship second place. Yeah. So it was kind of like, okay, both of them out, <laughs> equal it yeah. out over here. Yeah. Um, and then we also had Logan Sargent into Q3. So that was the first so time since exciting. Zandvoort. Yeah. Since back in August, uh, ugh, August. And not just Q3, like ended up in fifth and sixth. Well, yeah, sixth for both, him. Both but, Williams. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was so impressed with Alex and Logan's, you know, one lap performance and, they were just killing it as far as pace. And I felt like it was going to be, you know, positive weekend for them going into it. Yeah. So and, did I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then another team I was surprised by was Alpine on this track, mm -hmm. especially for qualifying. Yeah, they, were, they finished. Uh, what did they finish? Well, Gasly was fourth. Um, That's right. Ocon mm -hmm. 16th, but I think probably Ocon had more in his car than what was yeah, shown in definitely. qualifying. So, and, and you could see that with, uh, Gasly. So yeah, they were expecting to, at least on during the race, like get some, some good time in there. Yeah. I think overall it was a, it was a grid, a qualifying day that we were met with like lots of surprises, a mm -hmm. lot of little like nuggets, some drivers doing much better than we anticipated. And I think overall it was, it was pretty eventful. Yeah. And I was excited, like, okay, for the race, just with the, the grid, like the starting grid alone, like it was pretty mixed up. You know, we yeah. had some, we had like McLaren, Mercedes, a Red Bull in the back. And then we had some of the other teams, you know, up, up higher. So I thought that was going to like, to begin with already going to be a good start to the race. Yeah, for sure. So anything else on qualifying? Yeah. And so our top three was Charles and mm -hmm. Carlos. So Ferrari won two and then Max in um, for third. But uh, Carlos had his 10 place grid penalty. So he got, he had to start in 12th. So that was yeah, a shame such for a him shame. and for Ferrari. Yeah. I really thought maybe they would come back and <laughs> reverse that <laughs> or like, something. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah. And um, actually, speaking of that penalty, I did notice that Max was asked about it in a press conference. Did you see that? I did. Um, I didn't quite hear his answer, though, but I did hear that they were asking um, a few of the drivers about it. Did he say that he didn't agree that they should not give him a penalty or that he agreed so, with the penalty? He disagreed with the penalty. He said okay. that it was too harsh. And he also said that they should make changes to that as far as, you know, those specific circumstances. And it shouldn't be based on a team by team vote. He said, at the end of the day, we're all going to vote for ourselves. And so we're yeah. never going to vote for somebody to not be penalized, which mm -hmm. is very like realistic, like... <laughs> 
our our realistic brutal king <laughs> Max. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought I thought he was right in saying that. You know, it's kind of silly to ask the teams to vote on something, especially yeah, because they're all could, gonna you know, most likely they're going to vote against that team, especially right. if they're in the fight with them, you know, maybe the ones in the back, they can be like, Oh, okay, sure. Whatever. We don't care. But yeah, it's really most likely not going to be for that other team that's looking for that help. That little right. handout. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, that, that little nugget kind of, I felt like we needed to cover that real quick, but at the end of the day, signs, was uh, sent to the back. So, <laughs> um, anyway, anything else in qualifying? Um, no, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So and then it was race... time for race day. Yes. Race day. So, uh, I didn't realize this. Lynette told me before we started recording that there was a red carpet. Yes, there was a red carpet. I didn't see it live or anything like that, but there was pictures that were posted um, I saw them on the F1 Las Vegas um, <clears throat> Instagram. Uh -huh. And so they had a red carpet and, you know, all the celebrities walking in, taking their picture and all of that. And then they had some of the drivers also walk the red carpet and take um, yeah. their pictures. What do you think about that? Did you see any of the celebrities? Um, yes. And I don't remember like which ones were there. There was a lot of them. Um, uh -huh. But one of them that I like, caught my eye like I was reading through the comments and somebody mentioned that Cara Delevingne was there and they're like wow they really hate the, Are you <laughs> the fans don't they, <laughs> they oh that goodness. they let her back in so so I thought that, that was so funny, funny but yeah and of course you know the comments weren't weren't Great. very happy about that but yeah I so I did notice I mean obviously before we get to the grid walk there were a lot of celebrities there just over the weekend yeah and, a lot. um one of the celebrities that I saw prior to the grid walk being, you know, out and about a lot was Patrick Dempsey. So Patrick Dempsey actually signed the pole position tire trophy that they give out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm sorry, but like, I am obsessed. Like I love, I love Patrick Dempsey. I'm like, you know, and also it's so, it's so on point sexiest man alive, like just won the GQ. What is it? GQ or people, what, whoever, whatever magazine does sexiest man alive or whatever, Patrick Dempsey got it. And I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so relevant right now. Like just pulling him <laughs> in whenever you can. And then, and then I realized He's actually going to be in a movie called Ferrari. Yeah. And he's, he's it's coming out. Yeah. It's coming out in December. Um, and it has Adam driver and I think Shailene Woodley and Penelope Cruz and Patrick Dempsey are on the, mm. the cast list. So I didn't yeah. realize, but Christmas day guys, like go out there if you're free and go watch this <laughs> Ferrari movie. I'm so excited. Yeah. We're going to watch for sure. <laughs> Go yeah. check it out. See what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. They so... say the reviews say that it's or like not reviews, but like the people, I guess, that have worked with it or seen, you know, clips here and there say that it's it's really good. So we'll see yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah. So the red carpet led us into the driver's parade, right? Yeah. You know, the so driver's the driver's parade. parade. So the drivers were announced by Bruce Buffer, which he is... Um, the host of UFC. So, um, he has like, I don't know how very, to describe it, you know, the way he announces, um, the drivers and whatever athlete is, is coming out. Um, but did you see it? I, I did. I saw there was oil leaking from one of the cars. It might've been. Yeah. Charles. So the, I feel like there was a, some confusion on what car it was. And they finally said it was Oscars. Cause at first it was, oh. um, Charles. And then they said Perez, um, since Perez was like sharing the car with, with Lewis, but then it ended up being, um, Oscar's car that lost, um, the oil that was leaking the oil. And then that's why he was in the car with Lando. That, well, that's why they were sharing the car. Got it. So Got yeah, it. <laughs> but yeah, there was, I feel like there were some awkward moments with, um, with that that man Bruce Buffer Perez um kind of like he like he got in his face and and Perez was just kind of standing there I don't know if they thought that they were going to get interviewed by him because they just kind of stood around him waiting um to see yeah. like if he was gonna say something to them 
And then they would walk over to the car like, oh, okay, like there was a lot of confusion and they, it just <laughs> was kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely loved all the cars, like all the different cars that they had mm -hmm. for each one. And, I, and also I liked that they did their own car this time. I don't know if they always do that or if it's, but I feel like most of the time when you do a driver's parade, aren't they in the same car? Um, yeah, they're in, sometimes they're in that big truck, but a lot of times they do uh, separate cars. And also yeah. they used to do the, the, the different cars a lot, but then they changed to that truck and we had the oh no they were sharing this year right in austin they were sharing each team was sharing the car but yeah um yeah so i think they just switch it up depends on you know what they're going for and i guess how many cars they have available but i feel like every time they have those old vintage cars something something happens there's like a leak or one of them breaks down i remember in austin drama. one of them didn't make it up the hill Oh, and yeah. the driver was already in there and <laughs> they had to yes. like get out, run out and go and get in somebody else's car. So um, the car, the vintage cars are cool, but I feel like they need to make sure they're, they're working a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So one, uh, one thing I was going to say is this, that sphere, um, didn't they say that they weren't allowed to have like blue and red and yellow yeah. in the sphere, but I saw it anyway. Yeah, and, and they have um, the Chrome logo is literally red, blue, and, and yellow. <laughs> yellow. Yeah. And it was just huge there. So I think that went out the window. <laughs> yeah. I Whatever. Confused, Who, whoever's but... idea that was. That yeah, like overruled. what the role was there. <laughs> um, so next, do you have anything else on the driver? Um, well, we had the national anthem with Donny Osmond. Um, oh, he's, I, that, I like, guess, after... like a Vegas resident. Oh, after okay. the grid walk. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So next we had the grid walk before the, um, the national anthem. And I will say like poor Martin, he was like, I felt like he was being smushed by everybody. He's kind of shorter. And so mm -hmm. everybody there just seemed like so much taller than him. And I was like, Oh no. Like, he's just like, I don't know. I, I felt, I felt bad for him, but another successful yeah. grid walk. You successful you think <laughs> I thought so I mean there there were lots of celebrities there was a little bit of drama there was a little bit of like you know rudeness I felt yeah. like it, I, yeah I guess like those things on a grid walk <laughs> yeah I I thought it was I mean yes successful in those in those terms but I thought it was bad I thought it yeah. was gonna oh, be yeah. a lot better but it was pretty bad I mean basically we saw him walking around the whole time, look, just avoiding people or I don't know who he was looking for. Um, I loved how he said, like, I don't know how many, how these people got a grid, a grid pass, but it was just so many people. We didn't really get like any decent interviews um, or like get to see anything. Like we could barely see the cars. He yeah. could have been talking to people from the team or um, uh, the drivers weren't even out there. I think they probably they just waited to like the very last minute because they didn't want to be out there. Um, and so all, all you saw was basically like people just taking selfies of themselves. Um, yeah. So I was expecting more from a Las Vegas grid walk. You know, I know we always like talk about like, oh, the celebrities, this and that. But I feel like this was even like worse. <laughs> so the the celebrities that I had that he interviewed were Will I Am, Tiesto, Steve Aoki. The mm -hmm. founder of Cirque du Soleil, it was just, all these were very quick, just like one question, you know, yeah. are you excited to be here? Everyone was like, yes, yeah, so excited. And then he gets over to Shaq and Shaq was so rude for how many races he's been to and how much of a fan he is or seems to be a Formula One. You would think that he would be a bit more gracious to yeah. Martin and he just like brushed him off multiple times and and like I don't know. To me, it just seemed really unlike him. Like, I feel like normally, I don't know. I just picture him being much nicer and he was not nice. So I yeah. noticed that. I thought he was going to be nicer and at least go and talk to him because he has been at the races. Like he's been in Austin a, co a couple of times. So, but yeah, he was, I don't, I just sometimes like, what is their deal? You know, like, why are you, I don't know. Rude. <laughs> we won't rude? get into that, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And so I had Sean White was a doll, like an mm -hmm. absolute angel. He was probably the best interview on the grid. And I loved just his 
his like infectious smile. He was just so happy to be there. And he explained, you know, why he's there. He said, you know, I'm friends with Lewis and Toto. And like, I saw Lewis and I taught him how to snowboard and now I'm here to watch him. So I don't know, to me, I just thought that was like super endearing. He like waved to the camera and was just like excited to be interviewed. So I loved Sean White's interview. Um, He also interviewed Kylie Minogue and Lando like right as Lando was going to the national anthem and Lando was kind of like in a hurry, but he asked him like, how do you feel about the track? And Lando was like, it's dreadful. (laughs) (laughs) That was his one word. He was like, it's dreadful. I'm like, okay, Lando, speak your mind. (laughs) (laughs) Like, well, with that attitude. No. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So then, um, yeah. So then that brought us into the national anthem. Yeah, so Donnie Osmond, he's a Las Vegas resident. Like he has a red in- residency a legend, there, right? A mm-hmm. legend. <laughs> um, which you know, like we we talked about this in the last episode that we they should have done a lot more of like the Vegas, Vegas. performers and have like Vegas celebrities and stuff like that. They're focusing on if they want to focus on celebrities. Um, mm-hmm. So he was one of them, and and I think he did he did a good national anthem. I loved it. Actually, my Mm -hmm. mom is like a huge Johnny Osmond fan. (laughs) So I kind of grew up like listening to some of his music. I just love the, the, I don't know, like the butteriness of his voice. Like he's just such a good performer and I love how they include, like included the sphere and they did all the like art on the sphere. Mm -hmm. To me, it was very Vegas. Yeah. It was very Vegas style. And I, I really liked the national anthem. That was I don't know. Maybe I just like hearing our national anthem, but I know (laughs) it's always beautiful anyways. But um, yeah, when I saw that he was going to be singing it, I was um, looking through some of the comments and I saw one, like uh, somebody said that people were going to be surprised that he actually like he he can sing that he has a really good voice. So I went to his page and started seeing some of like his, his posts where he's singing. I was like, Oh wow. He like, he does. I mean, I know who he is and I know he's been around for a long time, but I guess I never like really like paid attention yeah. to his voice, like singing an actual song besides like those, you know, the shows that he does, but yeah, it's mm-hmm. it it a good voice. Yeah, um, for sure. So yeah. And so then it was time to get into the race. I can't, I, I honestly, so I wanted to ask you this. I don't know. Maybe we wait till the end of the recap, but I have like, I really want to know, like, what's your one word for this race? <laughs> One, okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, let's think about it and we're going to come back to it. Okay, mm-hmm. so we started the race. Obviously, Leclerc was P1 and turn one, once again, we had some drama. So yeah. Verstappen pushed Leclerc off the track and then commenced like a whole radio war of like, he's got to get the place back. No, I'm not going to get the place back. No, he's got to get the place, you know, so... For about 10 minutes there, I was like fuming, like, is he going to give the place back? <laughs> <laughs> um, and he never gave the place back. <laughs> he took no, five, he didn't. He took the five second penalty, even though he was deemed to be like wrong taking that place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I figured if he was going to give the place back, I think he was going to. It wouldn't have mattered. He would have passed him anyways, because yeah. the way that he had already built up that gap with within that short amount of time which was i was a little surprised with at how big of a gap he he built before they had that yellow that yellow flag um so i was like i mean gosh does it even (laughs) matter at this point but um he got the five second penalty which he served um with his pit pit stop stop. Mm -hmm. yeah and um and i think maybe that he pushed a little bit too hard in the beginning and that's why like when Mm -hmm. he built up that gap and you know maybe that kind of like set the tone for the rest of his race and how how it was and how he kind of just like shot his tires but um yeah but yeah so the start I don't think uh Charles had that great of a start you can tell like you know or Max had a a really great start but you could tell that um Charles just at the start wasn't all that great and that Max was able to like be so close to like overtaking him, even though like he did get pushed off the track. Um, So yeah, Yeah. I think Charles didn't really have that great of a start as he could have. Yeah. And someone else who didn't have a great start, Alonzo. (laughs) 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I there like was him. while we were looking at, uh, you know, they kept showing the replays of what was going on in the front between Charles and Max. There was a bunch of other stuff going on in the back. Yeah. So we had Alonzo who spun out and ended up hitting Bottas. And then as Bottas was trying to kind of pull back out onto the track, he gave Alonzo a nice little hit <laughs> on his car. <laughs> and I think in the in all of that, didn't we also have Perez got damaged? And yeah, so else? Botas also hit Perez. Right. Perez spun, and then Perez hit him again, like lightly in the front. So he had some possible, like he had a hit in the back and the front. And then Carlos also was involved in somehow in that that whole thing. Yeah. Um, so that caused the virtual safety car because mm -hmm, there was a, some debris. Yeah. And all of the cars kind of had to come back in, get some, some fixes, some, all the, the things, new tires, mm -hmm. new wings, yeah. all that. And, and then that would have been a good time for Max to give the, the place back <laughs> since they were kind of like all brought back together and, and starting up front. So that would have, <laughs> we're not going to let this go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he exactly he could have given it back there, but then you know they had the virtual safety car, and then they had the restart, and Lando ended up crashing because it did, is it was it because his tires were too cold? They weren't. To yeah, I think just going into that control. turn, and he just kind of lost it, and like it looked pretty bad. I mean, there was like fire. It looked like all the sparks, and so he hit the wall like on the side, and just kind of kept spinning. Yeah. barely missed um oscar and then just like went all the way down luckily that str that like um where he like went off that it was pretty long yeah. so he was able to kind of like lose some speed and not hit the barrier so so hard but apparently it was still pretty hard because he he sounded really like winded Shaking he could up. barely even answer back yeah i i think we were all a little concerned there I didn't mm -hmm. actually see the collision. Like, I didn't see what happened. I just saw all of a sudden he was in the wall. And everyone was like, who is that? Oh, okay, it's it's Lando. Um, but they did end up bringing him back to the... They, he w had to go to the hospital for, like, medical checks. They're, mm -hmm. like, the medical room for medical checks to be evaluated. And, um, and he passed. So good to know Lando is okay and hopefully yeah. gonna get some good rest after an eventful weekend although he might be hitting up the clubs so <laughs> um but yeah sad day for lando that he wasn't able to finish so anyway let's see what happened after that um so that basically just brought out the safety car um yeah and then i think after People that for a while tires. nothing nothing much happened um i think the next like big thing that happened was the collision between George and Max. Verstappen. Yeah. Yeah. Which was going Did they into say one of the turns. It was George's turns. fault or no? Yeah. So George got a five second penalty for that. Okay. Which it, it, it was pretty obvious. I think that George, he turned in. it was George's fault. <laughs> yeah. He kind of like turned in. And once again, like, you know, I don't know if it seemed like there was certain times where it looked like the drivers couldn't tell or didn't know that somebody was coming up behind them or next to them. Right. And so I wonder if they were having an issue with that, like on you know, certain turns. Yeah. Um, but this was the only one that really like had any like major impact. Um, but yeah, right. I mean, when I saw those like bits of the car flying, I was like, <laughs> literally like screamed when I saw that. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, so Verstappen ended up having damage that, they didn't fix because they felt mm -hmm. like his car was going to perform the same. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Which um, clearly it, it did not. <laughs> he won with, with damage. So it was the front wing, um, that piece on the side, uh, fell off. And then it looked like there was also some damage to George's car also on the side, but I don't think right. it, whatever the damage was to both cars, it really affected them much, but, um, but yeah, that five second penalty with everybody being so bunched up throughout the race, it, pushed George out of the points. So for Mercedes, only Lewis was the the one that scored points, which Lewis also um, didn't have that great of a race since with he, didn't. he had a, a yeah, he had a, a blowout with the tires. So he had to go in, go into the pits, which pushed him back down a lot. Right. So he had a, um, you know, some time to make up, do some overtaking. 
And right. I think he finished seventh once everything was kind of settled with the time penalties. Right. But, and um, after that, after that uh, safety car with all of that damage and stuff, we ended up having um, Perez, a, a nice finish to the race, actually, because we had a Perez for Staffen and Leclerc battle, which mm -hmm. I was very excited to watch. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know. I don't feel like we've had any any front of the field action for so long that it was kind of like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I, w I was surprised and kind of very pleasantly surprised. Although, you know, obviously we, I think everyone wished that maybe someone else would have won besides Verstappen for once, but, <laughs> but regardless, I mean, both drivers, Perez and Leclerc ch pro proved to be a challenge to him in this race. Yeah. Mm hmm. And I like the back and forth between um, Charles and Perez. Once Perez got that, that like past Charles, I thought, OK, it's probably going to stay like this. Just seeing yeah. how the Red Bulls were like what their pace was throughout the race. But um, when Charles got him back, I was like, I was not expecting that. And I don't think anybody really was because even, um, you know, the yeah. commentators were saying that it they were surprised. They kind of like. Um, maybe Checo was like caught sleeping or something because all of a sudden, like pretty right. quickly, he easily passed him. So I was like, okay. And then they were talking about how the wing, um, the wing difference on Perez's car could have, um, had a, like had something to do with that. So, mm -hmm. so it was interesting to see, okay, is he gonna, like, they still stayed pretty close where you're kind of wondering yeah. like what's going to happen now. Charles had older tires, so that could have come into play. And, you know, obviously Perez with the, the issue with the wing and they still kept up with Max. So, you know, Max in the early, like earlier on the, in the race, he was having the issue with the tires. Like, was that going to come back? Yeah. And was he going to have an issue with that? So yeah, the ending towards the end was, was pretty good to see, you yeah. know, what was going to happen. Now we also had Nico Hulkenberg retiring. Did you notice that? Yes. There was, was like that... two retirements, the last two, Yuki and Nico, I think right on that, that same exit. Was it a power issue or do we know what happened there? I'm not sure what happened with that. Yeah. I, I didn't really double check into that, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, I thought it was a really amazing overall. I thought it, there was a lot of action. Um, and I was excited to see it. I thought the funniest thing of the funniest part was on the radio. Max is so funny like he's like he, sometimes he says stuff and I'm like oh my gosh like that wasn't funny at all and then sometimes he says stuff and I'm like oh my gosh that's hilarious like look he made a little joke um so like two things he said during the race that were so hilarious one was uh send them my regards Remember, yeah. did, you, did you hear that yeah send them my regards oh my gosh I was like Wow, he is so cocky. Um, and then it's easy the to say when you know, like you, <laughs> that it's not going to affect you. You know, good that your car yeah. and and all of that. So yeah. And the second radio that I laughed at and thought was so cheeky was like at the very end. He's like, "Viva Las Vegas!" Oh yeah. <laughs> at the end, yeah, when he when he won. Yeah, he that was so funny. You know, after all of the shit talking he has done this week about. Vegas to then win and sing the Vegas song. I thought it was, it was kind of funny. <laughs> There's gotta be tons of memes out there right now. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I'm going to ask you again, what's your word for this race? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, good, I guess. <laughs> what's your okay. word? And then I'll think of so my word was, um, well, it's two words, but it's technically one thing. Pleasant oh, surprise. We'll <laughs> Pleasant now surprise. you're just cheating. <laughs> okay. Surprise. Well, surprise. Surprising. Okay. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my, my one word. Surprising um, in what way? I, I understand that it was probably not the easiest track to drive on for the drivers. I know 
a lot of them didn't love driving on it, but I thought the amount of action that it brought, the amount of overtaking back and forth, I, I really enjoyed it. And I was surprised that I enjoyed it mm -hmm. so much. I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I, I was actually surprised that there were like no big incidents, you know, we thought there was going to be a red flag right. and I was kind of hoping like, man, you know, I don't want this to be a race where it's like red flag, red flag, yellow, mm -hmm. you know, the yellows, we did have some yellows, but they were quick, which is mm -hmm. good. You know, they were able to like get all that cleaned up quickly. Um, I didn't want it to like drag on where we just have to like, we get some action and then we stop and have to keep waiting and waiting. I think that would have right. made for, you know, not so exciting race. So, um, yeah, I think, because I, man, those turns, like turn 12, every time they got so close to the wall, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I know. I, like I couldn't even watch because, um, but yeah, I'm surprised like that, that turn, nothing really happened. And it, like, that just goes to show like how good they are, you know, and in, in yeah. the conditions and. Yeah. But, so yeah, I thought it was good. Are you, so do you feel like overall minus like the first day were you pleased with the race or more are you, were you more leaning more towards like a negative or a positive vibe um like originally mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. now that you've seen it N oh now now positive I mean originally I didn't really like I didn't know what to expect like as far as right. the race you know I was excited to see the race and qualifying and all of that mm -hmm. um I what I think just like is annoying to me or like turns me off is all the the stuff that they do before and like the, what they focus on and you know the celebrities right and, and all of that like to me it honestly feels like these celebrities are just kind of like trying to there pay to seen. their yeah they want to like pay their way onto like the cool kids table or something you know that they disco discovered something else is going on like outside of their world and they're like what you know how am I not a part of this like I need to to be yeah. there and they don't care about anything else and, right. you know, like the, like the whole red carpet thing and, and the fans yeah. don't want to see that. I mean, I've seen the response of how, of the race and how everybody was like, so happy with how good the race was and the, what the track brought and all of that. And it's like, that is what it's all about. Like that is what people exactly. want to see. And you made everybody like have all this like negative attitude and like be all cranky about it because of all the stuff that you did prior. Like if you just focus on the race, the race and quality and all of that, we would, we would yeah. have been like so happy to begin with. hundred percent, a hundred percent. And the TikTok that you sent me was so factual. I loved it. So mm -hmm. Lynette sent me a TikTok of Max talking about his thoughts on the race and just like all the extra stuff around it. And he was like, if people were to actually pay attention and, and listen and watch and learn something instead of just mm -hmm. going someplace just to drink and party all weekend. Yeah. I think that they would find that it's, it's such an interesting sport to watch and all the things. So I, I agree. I mm -hmm. I'm not. And then and he mentioned about like how, what they like put on the line, you know, like what they're doing every day, like pretty much risking their life, you know, and yeah. like, you have to like acknowledge that and appreciate that from them with the kind of sport that it is. Yes. Yes. Um, one of the things that I was surprised about was that they didn't use the Cirque du Soleil all that much. They had like a tiny little performance of them on the track. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah, just I thought, like, I thought that was going to be a bigger part of it. Yeah. And also the blue man group. Yeah. Like those were two acts that I felt like, come on guys. Like mm -hmm. here, here's my, let me, let me give you my perfect lineup. Okay. okay. Get rid of everybody. <laughs> Get rid of everybody. Put in the blue man group, put in Cirque du Soleil, have a little Michael Buble doing the <laughs> national anthem. Is he That's, in Vegas or was he yeah, in Vegas? He used to have a residency in Vegas. I don't okay. know if he does anymore, but he used to, and he was, he's phenomenal just in every way. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, and he, and also he's very like show business, like he's very Vegas. So I thought yeah. he'd be like a great person for like a national anthem. Um, or even like if they wanted to do a driver's introduction, just have like one singer, you know, like one, just have someone very classically Vegas, you know, have mm -hmm. some like mimes, 
I don't know, like do something that's like more Vegas Mm -hmm. than just having all these celebrities. Because guess what? Those celebrities are not in Vegas. They're just in LA and they just drove to Vegas for the weekend. So they're not like there. I I don't know. Just, I'm just, I know, I know I share the same frustration with you. It's like, just get rid of all the craziness and just do what's like true to the actual culture of the city, you know? Yeah. So anyway, that's my spiel. I think overall I was really impressed, like you said, with the driving and, and I'll be excited to see what happens next year and mm. the year after. And who knows, even maybe even longer than that. But <laughs> <laughs> so um, with that, who's your driver of the day? Uh, so my driver is Charles. He got the yeah. vote also for driver of the day from everybody. Who was your loser of the day if you had to pick? Um, so I'm going to do like a little team loser and I'm going to go with Williams because they, I thought they were going to have a really get ra- a good race. I thought Logan was going to get some points again with that quality that they had. Yeah. And I think they like with the safety cars, they kind of got unlucky and, mm-hmm. and, you know, ended up in the, in the back and like always with the safety cars, you know, some of it, it works out for some not for others. So um, I'm going to go with them being the loser just because I thought they were going to have a a good race. Lynette and I are on the same page. I had same (laughs) driver of the day, same loser of the day. I was just really sad for Logan and Alex for where they were in when they started to where they ended. It was just such a fall from grace. I I was really excited for them to potentially do something there. But anyway, and then of course, Charles, amazing drive driver of the day winner of the day you know you know what's funny so I had I was like okay he's my driver of the day and then when um when he he like kind of went off and Checo passed him I was like okay he's not my driver of the day anymore with that mess up because he lost second (laughs) you know (laughs) harsh yeah (laughs) like because he lost second you know and it was like his mistake that yeah why he lost second but then he redeemed himself and I was like all right <laughs> you're my driver of the day you got driver it of the day <laughs> yeah um, oh and then I just wanted to like mention two other drivers yeah. who um had a lot of overtakes so Lance Stroll went from 19th to 5th very, and Esteban Ocon 16th to 4th so Thank you for mentioning them because I feel like we lose them in the mix of like who is, who's looked at the most or who's seen the most during the race. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the race coverage was really frustrating because a lot of it was towards the front at the end when there were other battles happening and other things happening. Mm -hmm. And Lance, amazing, amazing drive. Esteban, amazing, amazing drive. So yeah, good thing you mentioned them because I think that they deserve an honorable mention. So we did see the Alpines like battle each other really quickly, but I feel like they could have kind of shown the guys in the middle a little bit more. And because I feel like we didn't really get to see or hear much about how Stroll made it up that high. And Ocon also like all all of a sudden Ocon is fighting against his teammate, which is up up higher. So, Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I understand like we finally have like something going on up front, you know, with Max. So it's probably like hard to be able to show and talk about everybody and everything going on. So yeah, um, for yeah. Sure. So I just wanted to, to mention that in case others missed it. <laughs> yeah. And since you mentioned two great drivers, I figured I would mention like if it, if my loser of the day wasn't Williams, my loser of the day was going to be Alpha Tauri because Yuki yeah. and Daniel, oh my gosh, what was going on? I don't know. They just had a horrible race weekend And I felt like they were just getting passed by everybody constantly. Anytime I was like checking in, they were losing places. I was like, okay, I I can't, I can't. (laughs) (laughs) So they were my, my other loser of the day. But yeah, I didn't see them making like any, like doing any kind of progress, moving up, nothing. They were just kind of hanging out in the back. So do you have the poll results that we did on Instagram? Yeah. Let me get it. Okay. We did a poll asking you guys, what did you think of the race? And the options were great racing. It was okay and didn't like it. Yeah. So we had 61% great racing, 33% it was okay, and 7% didn't like it, which was interesting. 
I'd like so to know why. So for, for all of you who didn't like it, why? I, I'm curious why you didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe, just because maybe it's because your favorite driver didn't win. Yeah. Like maybe they're not Red Bull fans or Ferrari fans. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe they're Charles fans and they're mad that Max won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so good thing. I mean, it seems like the majority of everyone thought it was either okay or great. So yeah. there's your poll, everybody. F1, you, every, <laughs> Liberty Media did a great job apparently for, for race day. So yeah. do you think you'll, you'll go to this race after seeing it now? No, no. I, I think, I, I think I would like down the road, but there's so many other races that yeah. I would want to go to before before Vegas. Um, only because I've been to Vegas. I mean, I've been there many times. I haven't been to a lot of the places that formula one races in. So I, I mean, for me, it's like, it's an opportunity to explore the world, to be spontaneous, to, you know, travel and grab experiences from other cultures. And so I am 100% not going to be going to any probably, I mean, unless I'm going for free. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, unless I get free tickets, we're available. And, yeah, we're available guys. Just send us for free. We'll be your ambassador. No. Um, but I, I just, I, I would much rather spend my money going abroad. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Um, I agree, but I think eventually, you know, but not anytime soon, like definitely not like within the next, I don't know, three, four years, like it'd be way later down the line. Like you know, when I've gone to other races and maybe we're like, okay, um, we've seen what, what, you know, like how the races in Vegas are going to be. Cause you know, maybe yeah. next year it could be a totally boring like track, but, um, I'm probably eventually just cause I would like to go and, and just like to yeah. see F1 in different places. But Vegas is not like, I wouldn't be going cause of Vegas. I don't care. Yeah. For Vegas. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what do you feel like overall, there were some rumblings, I guess my last question for, for you, I always feel like I would always want to get your opinion on things, but what do you feel like overall, you know, they were saying that, or a lot of people were saying that maybe F1 or the FIA wanted to put some sort of like a restriction on Max's comments because they were so negative about this mm-hmm. race what do you think about that do you think racers I don't deserve know. to to voice their opinions yeah I and mean, either have it where you're not going to be like showcasing the drivers all the time if you don't want them to be talking and and giving their opinions then get them off netflix get them off of all these other like things that you're having them do and just have it be like okay you're going to do media you're going to talk about the race you're going to talk about the car you know, and that's it, but don't, you know, search like, yeah. And don't search for the negativity. "Mm -hmm." (laughs) Yeah. And maybe take their comments into consideration because I know Max was the one that we heard about the most, but a lot of drivers had other comments to say about Vegas and the track and everything that was going on. So yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. How do you feel? Yeah. Oh, me either. I think 100%. That's what makes Formula One, Formula One. Like, I just love all of the characters, all the drivers, like all their different personalities. To me, they all add something to watching the sport and Mm -hmm. enjoying the sport. And they're allowed to have their opinion. So let it be. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So is that all you have for, for the race? So, um, yeah. So I had a question for you. What do you think this was the best race of the season so far or something else? Oh gosh. Um, no, I don't necessarily think it was the best race of the season, but at the top, I mean, I I thought it was pretty close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's the best either for me, but it was, it was good. We need to do a recap of like every race Mm -hmm. so I can remember (laughs) what all happened. Rank rank them. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I, I might actually put Carlos's win close to the top in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. I think Singapore was better than this race. I think that there was more action throughout 
like with the different t- the teams we had Red Bull, we had McLaren, we had Ferrari, the Mercedes at the end coming back. Like I feel like there was a little a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have one race left. Yeah. So, um oh, let's talk about the end of the race okay. and the podium and the car ride. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I totally forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Thank God you reminded me. That was so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got a cool down room. Like, yeah, because we, cool we were thinking room. we weren't going to, but it was once again, like just bad, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I didn't like it. I was like, where are they going? How long is this taking? Like, what are, what are we doing here? You know? Um, and then in front of the, so I guess there was like a bid from the hotels. I'm not sure if this is like for sure, but this is what I read that there was a bid from the hotels to see who was going to have what hotel could have the interviews like in front of their hotel. And I guess the Bellagio one. And so that's why they had it like there in front of the fountains. Oh, and but I just thought like it was weird. It took too long, like the drive there. And then they're like, let's watch the the fountain show. And they're just like. Huh. And then they start talking with each, with each I know, other. They didn't even watch. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then they have to drive them all the way back to, to do the podium celebration. Um, yeah, anyway. that was, uh, that was weird. I got bored around that time. Yeah. That took way too long. Like, I'm like, where's like, you lose the momentum of, um, like the excitement of the finish and right now that we're just like going on a car ride and. I mean, but it's nice we that the, we got to listen to them, but it was, yeah. it was too much. Well, we had the peanut gallery from Max saying, um, it was like, oh, where are they taking us? Oh, they're taking us to the, to the clubs. We're going to go party. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no podium for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's probably like, just take me home. <laughs> I know. I love this side we've been seeing of Max since I feel like he can kind of uh, let his hair down a bit because he's won the championship. Mm-hmm. So he's sort yeah. of just like giving very much like, excuse my language, but fuck it energy. <laughs> just like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I think so, a lot of people feel like he's kind of uptight. Yeah. But I think the more that you like kind of watch the things that he says and like just watch videos of him and stuff like being like on his own, you know, like being himself. I think he's, he's a little different. Like he can be funny, I think. (laughs) Yeah. He can be funny in like a non-funny cheesy kind of way. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) I'm like, oh, he said that. (laughs) Yeah. Not in like a cool guy kind of way. Like, (laughs) absolutely not. Absolutely not. He is the guy Mm -hmm. who goes home and plays on the sim. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Funny. Um, well, so that's all we have for you guys. Our next race is our last race. Yeah, Abu Dhabi, and um, we still have the Mercedes and Ferrari fight going on. They're now four points, so that's going to be exciting to see who who finishes second in the championship. Um, I don't know how, I don't know about Ferrari in Abu Dhabi. I don't think they're going to do as well as they did here. Obviously, with the temperatures and like the way their car works, so mm-hmm. it's going to be, I think, a good one to watch between them two. Yeah, for sure. And that's in how long? Next week, this weekend. Oh, it's next week. Okay. Oh my goodness. (laughs) So we will see you guys in like a week. Yeah, we'll be back. It's going to be fun. (laughs) Okay. um, I guess thanks for listening. Please don't forget to follow us, to subscribe to our show on YouTube. Give us a five-star rating. Please feel free to to sound off in the comments. We love to hear from y'all. And we cannot wait for this last race of the season. And we will see you guys back in a week. Bye, guys. Bye.